Hey everybody, it's Gareth over here. I'm now officially on that road to getting my diploma through WSET. The diploma is an expert level one accreditation, which is the last step I need to take before I'm eligible to apply to the Institute of Masters of Wine. I've recently created a crowdfunding campaign on Backup Buddy to help me source and also generate funds needed for the diploma. Over the next 12 weeks, I'm going to be introducing you to some of the most incredible wines from some of my favorite producers around the Western Cape. Each wine that I taste will be featuring in a mixed case of 12, which you can get your hands on if you just make a small contribution to the cause. The links that you'll need to find more information about the crowdfunding campaign and also to make a donation will be found along all my social media platforms. So what I'm going to be doing is tasting and analyzing these wines according to the WSET systematic approach to tasting. I'll be taking a look, a smell and a taste of the wine to help me evaluate the wine's quality and also assess the readiness for drinking. I'd like to send a massive thanks to everybody who's already made a contribution to my campaign, those who are yet to still make a contribution, and to all these amazing producers who have been kind enough to sponsor me the wine for these videos. So without further ado, how's about to introduce the first wine to you guys? The Introduction Chenin Blanc by Miles Mossad. It's so fitting that this wine is called The Introduction, seeing that it's the very first episode that I'll be shooting over the next 12 weeks. So now some of you guys out there might know Miles. Miles produces some really crazy wines, wines that are full of muscle, full of finesse, super complex, that I would imagine that to the general palate, they might come across as quite intimidating. So it's uh, in my opinion to imagine that that's one of the reasons why he introduced the introduction range. Like Miles likes to say, all great stories must have a beginning. Miles has played a huge role in my wine journey to date, and I'm so incredibly thankful to him for all the knowledge and the help that he's provided me throughout all these years. Miles sources these grapes from many different unique uh, terroirs as well as vineyards around the Western Cape and this allows him to produce the most amazing wine that you'll ever taste. Talking about tasting wine, how's about we get started? Okay, now that I'm done with the evaluation, let's go through my notes. First of all, the appearance. I gave the color of pale lemon. For the nose, I gave the wine a medium plus intensity with aromas of white peach, melon, pineapple, as well as lime. So there's a great combination of citrus and tropical fruit due to the fact that Miles enjoys sourcing or picking these grapes at different ripeness levels. On the nose, I also find a hint of yogurt. And this will tell us about the partial malolactic fermentation that the wine underwent. I know that Miles also doesn't like to use new oak when it comes to the introduction range. And this allows him to kind of keep the purity of fruits at the forefront rather than letting the oak steal the show. Because we all know there's always that one oak that likes to steal the show. Because we pick up on both primary and secondary aromas, the wine is a developing wine. On the palate, I said that the wine is dry, it carries a high acidity and has a medium alcohol. The medium alcohol is going to constitute to the wine's medium body and medium body in my opinion are like crowd pleasers. You can crack these babies up and you can enjoy them for just being an absolutely amazing wine. Medium bodied wines are wines that you can enjoy at any time of the day and for no specific occasion. On the palate, I found traces of peach, lime, unripe pear, dried apricot and there's quite a bit of mouthfeel to the wine. The mouth feels coming from the fact that the wine probably spends some time on the lease and I know that the wine has undergone some oaking for about 9 months. This wine carries a medium finish and is incredibly enjoyable. For quality of assessment of the wine, we use what they call the Blick system. Blick standing for B, balance, L for length, I for intensity and C for complexity. So according to the Blick system, I gave the wine a point for balance and then half a point for length, half a point for intensity, half a point for complexity. Therefore, giving the wine an overall rating of good, verging on very good. When it came down to the level of readiness for drinking, I said that the wine is absolutely stunning for right now, although it is gonna benefit with some age. The complexity I spoke about earlier is still yet to intensify with maybe just one or two extra years in bottle. That's if you've got the time and patience, right? So this brings us to the end of episode one, and it's to the very sad conclusion that this wine is already nearly done. Before I love and leave you guys, I just want you to all know that there is no standard when it comes to your enjoyment for wine. And remember, be kind and drink good wine. Ah, that's tasty.